All right, second time doing this one, guys. My camera died on the last one, but uh, real quick, like we're gonna look at Gump's antenna. Third video of the day here. Um, we're down here at the foot of his tower, looking up at his uh, six element OWA JTG built Gump built six element direct fed antenna. Uh, we'll just pan the uh, pan the band here, I guess you'd say, and show you the tune of it. We're going down. The tracks, 53 ohms, 1.0, no reactants. The bowl, no reactants, 55 ohms. Get a little reactants at 26.8. 26.915, no reactants, 1.1, 57 ohms pretty dang good uh, let's work our way up the band we'll go back to 28 uh, 51 ohms no reactants 1.0 SWR let's go up to channel 40 1.0 51 ohms a reactance of 1 then reactance of 0 on to 27.50 let's keep going Till we get a reactance of more than one. 27, 9, 3, 5. Looks like where a reactant starts going up there. Over a one. Still not going to hurt you to talk on it. SWR is a 1 0. But uh, we'll go back down to 28. Now, in the other videos, I mentioned a uh, tuning jumper that was used. It's a calculated jumper. People think that's a myth, whatever they want to think. But uh, it was tuned, his beam was tuned on that exact pole that the other antennas were, <clears throat> using that piece of coax. And uh, first he had a 100 feet piece of coax, 100 foot piece of coax going to his house. And uh, he put it on there, the tune stayed the same, flat, just like it is now. Uh, he cut off 60, cut off 40 feet when he built his uh, shop out here because um, he didn't need that much coax. He's only got 60 feet on here, give or take. Um, and the tune didn't change then. So, <clears throat> like I said, I don't want to get into the coax length debate, but for those that are interested, um, there's about, give or take, a dozen of us running these antennas in the country, and they were all tuned with that one coax jumper. And guess what? All of us are running different lengths of coax, uh, different types of coax. We're all running different stuff. And all we did was hook our coax up, and the, the tune stayed the same. I could cut 10 feet off of this, and it would stay the same. I could add 20 feet to it. It would stay the same. And, uh, you know, I could cut off 2 feet and 3 inches, and it would stay the same. But there's the uh, coax going to the analyzer. And it runs right up the tower here. Try not to blind you with the sun. It's about to blind me. But uh, just to show you that there's no uh, trickery or anything like that going on here. Um, story, I run one of these antennas. And, and just like this one, it was tuned with that piece of coax. And uh, initially had 180 feet. And I cut about 45 or 50 feet off of it. Tune stayed the same. Uh, we tuned mine on a test pole, uh, moved it onto the tower, onto my hazer, with the uh, antenna straddling my tower. The tune stayed the same there, cranked it up to the top of my tower, the tune stayed the same there. So, just take that for what you will. But, uh, this is it. I just want to show the tune on his antenna. Obviously, his is up on the tower, and, and you can see uh, just as good a tune as these ones on the ground. It didn't change any. Um, his is a six element. And uh, he's got a 30 kW baling on there. Baling. And uh, I think I mentioned this earlier. Uh, Gump's got a, a school about a mile from him. He's got a church about a half a mile from him. He doesn't bother anything. Uh, so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Check me out, I've, I've posted a, check us out, we've posted a, a five element video today and a, a six element on a test pole and the six elements for sale. 
and then uh, this video to cover these antennas. <clears throat> JTG built, uh, Gump built, fine antenna. I'll never run a different one uh, as far as talking skip on. It went to sleep on me, didn't it? But uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video. Uh, I shot this video once, and it uh, it died on me, so I had to redo the uh, the video here. But uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Uh, look forward to posting some more videos. Hopefully, catch you guys out on the air here pretty soon. Uh, anyway, Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.